is, you know, how do you, how do you make it transparent to your wider community and to those who are involved in your program that this is a Christian and faith-based endeavor? Yeah, that's been a fascinating dynamic. You know, like I'm in one of like the least church areas of the United States, right? The Pacific Northwest. And people often ask that. And you know what? It's never been a problem. Um, when I walk into the room with these ideas, like life skills, job skills, the weight training, drones, landscaping, whatever it is, that is that the goodness of that work is obvious whether or not you're a faith-based person or not. And it's only a question then of do you trust me to be the kind of person who socially and intellectually is capable of, of like engaging students in a nuanced enough way that I'm not going to hit them over the head with my particular religious message. And I find that people are, are actually quite willing to engage and trust with it. And part of what I love about those conversations, I would tell you, I don't wear a clerical collar, but there's certainly an imaginary one around my neck when they know I'm a minister. And when you walk in and, and only a couple of times have I had people kind of be a little resistant because, and you know, and I've learned to listen over the years because probably that means somewhere in their tree, they've had a horrible experience with religion. And, but it's been interesting that when people have really pushed on me and I've talked about what we emphasize, joy, discovering who you are, right? And getting people ready economically for the next stage of life. Only one time did I have to ask somebody, what about that are you opposed to? And the answer is, well, I'm not. So then are you just opposed to the fact that I'm a religious person? And that puts them in a little bit of an uncomfortable spot at that point, and it's never been an issue. And so I can imagine, though, I do have to be careful about the kind of adults that I bring in as mentors for a whole bunch of reasons, but I want to make sure that they are capable of existing socially in a responsible and nuanced way, even while being particularist about their Christian faith. And so far, we haven't had any issues with that. Um, but you do have to be intentional about it. But the work is so good and we do it well enough. Schools really want people to be in relationship with kids. They want the help. They're struggling. And we just haven't had a good enough idea that's compelling enough for them to want us on campus or around. So I think it's possible.